This video is brought to you by Jab.se, the lead supplier of MMA gear in Scandinavia. BetSafe.com, Europe's only online betting site for MMA. DirtyRebel.com, your destination for casual MMA wear. This is Marcus Korva with Studio MMA and MMA Nut, and we're here with Vinny Magalé, who's finally made his UFC debut um, back here in, in the cage, in the octagon, with a beautiful submission. Uh, how did it feel? It felt great, you know, like, here's the thing, like, I, I was expecting, like, not expecting my opponent, but I was expecting to get a submission to fight. That's how I trained for it. A lot of people would be like, you know, I should have tried to, like, get them all out around and, like, you know, try new stuff. I was like, yeah, I did that in the gym. That in the gym is what I'm trying to, like, work on my strike and work on my wrestling. But for that fight, like, you know, specifically, all I wanted to do was take the fight to the ground and submit him. He's, a, he's a, like a, Igor's a good, good fighter, but like, you know, I knew that my ground was just like so much better than his, so there's no reason for me to be trying to like new stuff during that fight. And that's what I want to take the fight to, to the ground, and that's what I did. And you did, and you won very, very uh, uh, beautiful submission that you, you've showed your jiu-jitsu in mixed martial arts, which uh, some jiu-jitsu fighters haven't been able to transfer into mixed martial arts. We saw it where you were before as well, it was beautiful on top, Gogo Platas and so on. What do you do differently with your jiu-jitsu in MMA? Well, I don't think I do like, it's not like there's anything special about my game, but like what I felt like, I was actually talking to, to teammates about this this week, like one, one problem that I see like with jiu-jitsu fighters, they do feel really comfortable like about being at the top and work on top submissions, top control and all that stuff. But like it seems like they don't feel like so comfortable on their back, and you know, which I am completely different. Like I don't mind as long as I'm on the ground, I'm comfortable. So on my back, top position. And I think that's the difference. Like to now, nowadays people are training just like they hit, they hit the ground. They want to get up if they have their back on the ground. Me, I want to work there. If I can get a sweep, I get a sweep. If I can get a submission, I'm gonna get a submission. And um, being off your back in mixed martial arts, so where people are punching and throwing elbows, you don't mind? It, it doesn't make any difference. Like here's the thing: once it hits the ground, it's jujitsu. You know, like if you can throw punch, you can, if you can throw elbows. It's still jujitsu. And that's that's my game. That's what I'm good at. So it's still jujitsu. I'll do what I what I do best. Ego said after the fight that if you want to do jujitsu, go back to jujitsu. This is mixed martial arts. What do you have to answer to that? No, that, that, that was exactly what he said. But he was like, well, if I want to be like in a grappling match, I would have signed up in a grappling turn. It's like, dude, if I want to be in a, in a, in a boxing match, I would have signed up for K1. So like, if I had lost by, by, by KO to KO, that should be my excuse. It didn't make any sense. It's mixed martial arts. Like, grappling is part of mixed martial arts. And I didn't do anything that, you know, for him to have a reason to say that. I get it, some guys just like, you know, they go and they go for grappling and all they try to do is to take somebody down, like stall, like, you know, try to like try hunt people on the ground, which was not the case. I took him to the ground, I tried to, I punched him in the first line, I threw, I threw elbows, I passed his guard, I went for an arm bar, so I was being pretty active even on, when I was in the ground. And the second round, when he took me down, so we like, you know, he should be blaming himself for that. When he took me down, I locked the triangle right away and I worked an arm bar like right after that move. So like, it was not like in a situation where, were, where it was boring, you know, like, I would have get if I had taken him down, stalling for three rounds, doing nothing, but it was not the case. So I had no reason to say that. And uh, you retired from M1 as the champion. Yeah. You tried to sell your belt on eBay. Any lost love between you and M1? No, I'll be honest with you now. Like, you know, there was never like an issue with me and the company. But uh, I knew like with the whole contract situation, I would be out like, you know, out of the fight game for like a few months, possibly a year. So I just tried to find a way to keep myself for like, you know, with some exposure. It was more like to, it was not to, to give a payback to M1, but if they didn't want to release me, they didn't want to let me sign with somebody else, I might as well just do something that's gonna at least put my name out there, you know? But it was never about like bashing M1. And now you sign with MMA Elite, and uh, MMA Elite is part of Samurai Pro. What do you think of the fight so far here in Los Angeles? The fights have been entertaining. That's actually like, going to the third fight. Now the first fight was good. Like you know, uh, I actually every time like a fight starts, I always try to pick a winner. I picked the wrong winner for the first fight. That, so did I. That's yeah. actually my teammate who fought. That's why I've lost my voice. Oh, okay. What did he do wrong with the rear naked choke? He was close. It looked like. You know, like it happens, like, you know, I made mistakes and I make mistakes too. Like, my fight, I made a mistake in the first round, I missed an arm bar, so, you know, you have in the fight. You never know. Like, you know, it's, it's used for me to be out, outside and pointing out, like, what he did wrong. But I, like, even being an expert on the ground, I still make mistakes too, so, you know. 
It happens. It happens, it just happens. Who do you want next? Who do you have next? When are you fighting next? You know, I don't I don't care who I fight next, but like you know, there are not many many guys available at the moment, you know. I would love to fight Matt Hamill because we fought on the same car, both of us are coming off wins. And there are not many guys in the UFC available now they are coming off the wins. Most of the guys are matched up. And I don't want to fight guys that are coming off losses. Like, uh, one guy that will fight that, that's coming off a loss would be Bader, just because it's a rematch, so it makes sense. Right. But anybody else that's coming off a loss, I have no interest in fighting. So I think Matt Hamill would make sense. Ryan Chima would make sense. Uh, James Kahuda would make sense. But, like, in the most, all the other guys are available, all are coming off losses. So, you know, I want to be calling out guys that are coming off losses now. You heard it from Vinny Magalé, who's going to be, you're going to see him soon in the UFC again. And if you want to train with him, you can do so at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas, where Vinny currently lives. And uh, another teammate of yours is here too, Jay Huron. Yeah, Jay Huron is here too. He's actually right behind us. To your right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm here. Now, uh, were you at Jay's last fight? Did you see his last fight? Yeah, I watched his last fight, man. Like, I was getting nervous. Like, usually I get really nervous more for teammates' fights than my, than my own fights. It's weird. Actually, in my last fight, I was so calm, like, so, like, you know, I was like, dude, it feels like I'm training, and then I want to watch these guys fighting, like, I was like, dude, that's like, you know, a brother, like, teammates are like brothers, you know, as much as, like, even guys are not super close, it's for the team, it's a family, so right. you, you feel like, you know, you want them to win, like, I want to see them lose, it's just so upsetting, and that's how, that's how I fought after the fight. You heard it from Samurai Pro in Los Angeles with Vinny Magalhaes. We're looking forward to seeing you in the future in the UFC right, again. Thanks, man. Yeah, a few months. A few months. A few months. Thanks. Oh my God. Programmet presenteras av betsafe.com.